Hello everybody, welcome back to Dad Plays Minecraft, I'm JD, and today we're doing another easy Minecraft tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to craft and use a barrel in Minecraft. So first, let me show you how to craft a barrel. A Java and Bedrock Edition are different. In Java, you need sticks. Let me just get quite a few of these. And you need slabs like this. So let me just get a few of those as well. Okay, now in, well, it's a little different in Java. Let me just show you first. What we do in, oh, let me do that. There we go. And let's take half of these. There we go. So there's a barrel. That's one barrel. Let's take two. But in Java, you'd still use the slabs here, but you need to use planks. And you'll notice this is not going to work at all here. So you get nothing. Not in bedrock. So that is the main difference here. In uh, Java, use the full wood blocks, but in bedrock, use sticks. So that's how to craft. A barrel. How to use it though? Well, it's pretty much the same as a, a single chest. You can just put it down like that and you can see it's um, it opens and it has an inventory the same size as a single chest. Uh, but you can put this in different layouts. Like You can do it like that so it's ver uh, standing vertically or you can do it horizontally. Now what I love about this is you can place a block. Well, the only way to do it is to crouch. Place a block on top. You can access that. And you can access that. So, easy. You don't need to... Uh, you don't need to worry about what goes on top. Now one thing I like doing... Well, there are different ways you can use it. Uh, Decoratively, I like barrels. For example, you can put them along a wall like this. And, you know, stack them up high. It's kind of like uh, wine barrels, isn't it? So you can store things like that in that method. Another way I like using it is if we're in a kitchen. Now, let me just... Uh, Give you an example here. So we have counters, right? And then you can put them up like this. And you have cupboards. And you can place things down in here as well. But a lot of people like to use them as uh, decorative blocks. So let me show you that. Now some people will like to put them down like this. And let's say, oh, there we go. I guess put them as uh, a base for a column. Now just a moment, I need to get up there. And we can keep going up. And how about another one, huh? Now, we have the base and the top of the column, but guess what? They're still functional. This is great for hidden storage. You can even put them in the floor, so you have uh, a lot of flooring you're walking on, so you can walk all over them. It's actually quite nice that way. Luckily, you don't fall in. <laughs> as I said, I love these as a decorative block. So, just for example here, do this here. And let's say we're in some kind of uh, 
docks area. Well, that's not the way I wanted, to, wanted it to go, but ah, there we go. <laughs> that works. So you could do something like this, where you have the rails tying them down. Well, that's not quite it, but uh, you know what I'm talking about. I think it's better if we just uh, do it this way. That way, we don't have them connecting. There we go, that looks better. So that looks like they're tied down. You can do them on a cart. So uh, say you have someone who's traveling around in a traveling cart. That looks good too. So uh, these are really versatile. I love them as storage because you don't have to worry about what's on top, unlike a chest. Chests have limits, but barrels, they are so much more, I think. You may see a common theme in my most recent tutorials, and that is these give villagers jobs. Uh, the barrel gives a villager a fisherman job. So if you want a fisherman, then put down a barrel by one. So, as I said, I love the barrel. I think it's a great addition to the game. Now, how do you like to use barrels? There's so many uses. I've only shown you a few. Uh, what I'd like you to do is go down to the comments section below and let me know how you like to use the barrel and see if you have any really creative ideas. Also, if you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more easy Minecraft tutorials, then please consider subscribing. So see you next time.